everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the like subscribe button and share my video in this video I'm going to show you how to tidy up your neckline and your hands and your hand hole you can see here this um, this guy you are seeing is like it's like it, I'm not going to be wearing it outside I'm going to be wearing it under a kaftan which I made so I'm just going to show you how to tie the, the ham hole this way, the neckline and the ham hole because it's a sleeveless uh, big gown which I'm going to wear under my captain. So let's start washing. What I'm going to be using today is my tape measure which is very important, my scissors and my shock marker and a piece of fabric which I'll be using to tidy it up. We saw here is my sewing accessories, which helps me to keep the fabric in place so the fabric will not move. So let's get marking. This is the fabric which I'm going to use to tidy up my ham hole and my neckline. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to place the right side of my fabric. This is the right side of my fabric of my gown I'm making. I'm going to place it here because now I'm going to manage my material. I'm going to place it here like so. Making sure it's straight. So I place it here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use this to keep the fab my fabric tight, no move. Yeah. To keep it in place, tight, no move. So I'm going to draw the shape like this. Draw the shape of my hand hole. Remember, this my um, content is all about beginner sewing to make it easy for beginners to learn how to sew by themselves, sew the clothes themselves. So, you see, so now that I've drawn out the shape of my hand hole, then I will now take it off. Remember, this is my right side of my fabric, I place it on my on my match fabric which I'm going to use to tidy up my hand hole. So now I've drawn the shape of my hand, I'll take it out like so. Then what I need here, I'll just measure one and a half inch. See like that. Follow the curve, measure one and a half inch. Measure one and a half inch. I measure one and a half inch here. You see that? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a curve from here like this to this place. Friends, you can see I've already drawn the curve. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut from here like this. Cut, 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 cut here. And cut, 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 cut there. Now I've cut it out. This is now the shape of my other ham hole. So I'm going to cut out the other ham hole. I'm going to use the same formula on the other ham hole. So I keep this aside. This is my fabric. I'll place my my material. Remember, I've already cut out this side, this side of it. So I'm going to cut this side as well. Just follow the shape. Place it like this as well. You see that? Then you draw out the shape. Make sure you arrange it properly. You draw out the shape. Or alternatively, you take this. I don't want to confuse my learner, so that's why I said you do it all over again. You you, you take the other side, place it like just like I did the first one. You draw it, put one and a half inch, just like the first one I use, then you cut it out. You do the same thing on the other hand. So the next thing we're going to do is the neck line. So friends, now I've cut out the two ham hole, I'm going to cut out the neckline. So the neckline, this is the right side of my fabric. I placed it on on this fabric I'm used to tidy it up. So I'm going to take my time to uh, arrange it. Remember this fabric is slippery. So when you're arranging, make sure you have a lot of space here because you're going to cut through. So I'll place it like this. 
because my fabric is i'm going to use it to keep it on hold do this as well making sure it's all well arranged you see that so after doing that make sure it's all arranged so i'm going to follow the curve like this draw out the curve So I've already drawn the, the neck curve, so I'll take it up like this. Then I keep my fabric. Then I'll start measuring one and a half inch on the side. One and a half inch. Make sure the same thing. I'm gonna do that from there to this spot here. I see, friends. I've drawn out the neckline. So now I'm going to cut from here this way to this place. From there to this place friends as you can see now that i've tied um uh, i've done my cutting out of my fabric to tidy up my neckline and my ham hole so what i'm going to do sorry don't mind this this is what i used to keep my fabric not to fall down from my table so what i'm going to do here is this so now remember this is the right side of the fabric don't forget very important right side of the fabric and i'm going to gently place it like so follow the shape of my ham hole and place it making sure it's equal at the edge here do the same thing on the other side as well place it follow the shape you see that and also i think this is the deck line Place it as well, making sure at the edges that both of them are equal. So now that I've done that, so what I'm going to do, I need my pin now. I'm going to pin it. I'll start pinning it up. When I'm pinning it, I make sure it's equal at the edge. It's extremely important. It's equal at the edge. start pinning so I'm going to pin, pin them and come back and show you the next step friends as you can see I've pinned it up from the ham hole I've pinned also my neckline I've also pinned the other ham hole now the next step is I'm going to take this to my sewing machine I'm going to stitch it but mind you I'm going to show you I'm going to start where I'll stitch so even when I'm stitching, I'm going to stitch, I'll just take from, you see this is the edge, right? I'll go down a bit here, yeah, from there, like a quarter, I'll stitch, I'll stitch, you see the top of my spin, uh, doing here? I'm going to stitch from there, stitch, 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 then I'll go to the other side as well, I'm going to stitch, 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 and I also go to that on my to that of my ham hole. I'm gonna stitch on top of my pins. Stitch, 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 stitch. So when I finish doing that, I'll come back and show you the next step. But before I go, I need to remind you that my sewing machine has a problem. So don't mind this the thread that you're gonna see at the bottom. The thread is not gonna be straight because my sewing machine has a problem. So I'm just using, using that. But that's it. So let's go stitching. Sorry friends, uh, before you start stitching, I didn't tell you guys this. Make sure, right, you take half an inch on your ham hole. Remember, when you are drafting your pattern, you put half an inch for sewing allowance, okay? And remember, at the neckline, yeah. So, this is half an inch. So, I'm going to mark another half an inch from here from the edge i'm going to mark it out that is where i'm going to stitch from i'll also do the same thing on the other ham hole as well look 
side is half an inch as well and the other side as well half an inch so now you see the half an inch this is very important when you are stitching mark out all your allowances so that your front pattern and your back pattern will be of of the same length at the shoulders at the shoulder you see what i mean so this is my half an inch which i'm going to stitch through this way so i also did the same thing on my neckline i'll also mark out my half an inch as well mark it out like this I'll just gently mark out my half an inch. This is extremely important when you are doing your 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 sewing because you want to have all your measurements in in order. Mark out all your allowances. I'll do the same thing. Sorry guys, I'm just using my phone to hold my fabric so it will not move. Because if I don't use my phone, it will just fall down on my legs. So, I'm marking it out. So, you see, I mark out by my half an inch on my neckline as well. This is very important, guys. Just gently follow the neckline. So, I mark it out as well. So that's my half an inch my neckline. So now I'll do the same thing. What I did, I'll do it on my other ham hole as well. Now, friends, as you can see, I've stitched my ham hole, my neckline, my the other ham hole. So what I'm going to do here. Is I'm going to start cutting just a little bit before the thread. Make sure you don't cut the thread. I'm cutting just before the thread, just a little bit before the thread there, just a little bit. So I'm going to do that the same thing on, on the neckline and on the other hand as well. Friends, as you can see, I've already cut. Uh, for the thread line so me i like to trim because i don't want my fabric here to be too much so i'm going to see see what i'm going to do now i'm just going to cut before the thread line but make sure you don't cut on your thread line very important so i'm just going to trim just a little bit when you are doing this be careful anyway just going to cut a little bit before trim out some of the fabric that so i'll do the same thing on the other side as well i'll do the same thing on my neckline as well so friends now that we're finished stitching the uh our ham hole our neckline and the other uh, ham hole so now we're going to start tidying it up so now you can see that so i'm going to show you a formula the formula i'm going to show you you use the same formula on this side as well so what i'm going to do here is this you see this place here i'm going to turn it you see i'm going to turn it like this yeah turn it like this okay then I'll go to that side turn it as well making sure the edges on this side side is equal mm -hmm. so I turn it as well like this so I haven't done that then I'll now go it like this yeah 
so now I've done that so you can see my, remember my ham hole is curvy so this is what I'm going to use here let me use my paint to start painting the top so I'm going to do it like this yeah see that push it yeah so I haven't done that so I'm going to you see what I did here I just flip it over then you see the rough edges here I'm going to use use my hand like this I pick it like this I use my hand to push it in because I like to tuck it you tuck it in tuck it in like so you see that making sure and this side is equal then I'll take my pin I'll pin it do it like that again making sure the other side is, is equal take my pin I'll pin it again so I just keep on doing like that see making sure so that side is equal as well i'll tuck the other one in like like this and just tuck it in see that take my pin this pin is very important my friends it's very important when you are doing your stitches see that again so you know at this curve here this is where you now open you see this place here i'm going to cut it just a little bit you see that because it's covered that place so it will allow me to tuck it in so i'll go up like this you see that because remember our ham our ham hole is covered making sure it's equal at the, at the other side as well then i'll tuck it in you just make sure it's equal and you tuck it in you see that tuck it in then i take my pin again do it like this then I'll go to the other side. Do, it, do it bring it back like this. You see, I bring it back like this. I'll tuck it in. You know about bringing it back and tuck it in. There, you see that place I cut now. Now you now make sure that place. You make sure you tuck it in properly. Sadly, but fabric I cut will not come out. So now I'm going to tuck it in properly. You see that? Tuck it in properly. Just tuck it in more, yeah. You see that, yeah. So it's not hidden. Tuck it in more. Wait, you can tuck it in more to make sure it hide the the fabric that I cut out to to enable me to cover it in at the curved side. So I go there like so again. Tuck it in. Bring it up like so. Then I tuck it in again. Tuck it in again. So do the same thing. Push it in. You see? Make sure it's equal again. Then I tuck it in. Make sure it's equal again. Then I tuck it in. Make sure it's equal. Then I take my pin, tuck it in. Then continue again. Make sure it's equal again. Then tuck it in. So friends, that basically it. You see that? You just push it in, and you tuck it in. You just push it, and tuck it in. So now that we've done that, you see we've painted it now. So this is the back of fabric. So I'm going to take go to my sewing machine. I'm going to stitch from here. I'm going to stitch on top here this way. Stitch, 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 stitch to the end. So when I finish it, I'll come back and show you the next step. So friends, as you can see, we finished tidying up the neckline and the ham this way. 
and this other one as well remember this my video is all about beginner sewing and this is the back here yeah? so let me show you the front so this is the front you can see the front and you can see the ham hole there as well you can see the other side it's all now tidy up you see that so this is the neckline all tidy up now so my friends i hope you like to if you do please don't forget to subscribe and share my video so for now one peace one love and bye for now you know what i want to say before you go is that practice make perfect you follow this step you do it again on the, on the rough um fabric you get it and before you, before you do it on your main fabric when you have, so when you are perfect on it so for now one piece one love and bye for now so please share my video and subscribe bye for now